Hi everybody, welcome back to Ukrania Gaming. I'm Andrew, and this is a new episode of Arts of Iron 4. No step back. Let's unpause the game. So, what happened in the last episode? Nothing. Nothing happened. No, we got ready, we, we prepared uh, quite carefully, and we started our uh, preparation for the invasion of uh, the, the, the reconquest of Poland, while the UK is pushing south uh, towards Italy, and probably Germany will need to bring some support there. So, if the Germans are busy, now we just moved our uh, troops. We give a offensive uh, to Minsk, just, just in order to have some level of uh, uh, preparation. And then we will try to take control of Minsk and the uh, um, logistic level of Minsk. And once we are done with that, why those people have no order, by the way? Okay, because... Because we need to give them one. Okay, let's keep them as fallback line. I don't want all the troops to be on the same front, otherwise they will uh, beat, it, beat each other. Um, we are spending too much oil. We're consuming too much oil in uh, air missions. And I think we will not be able to perform the operation unless I do not uh, decrease. Because we gain around about 5,800 hundred per day and we consume eight thousand an alternative would be to import or more oil for the motherland that's probably better and yes fight that will last drop of blood now that we have done this we activate the order 227 which will give us a plus 25 percent defense in the core territory and mobilization speed 15 percent and with this order in place, trust me, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, but not for our enemies. Good. Now, we are almost there. More oil gives us now 6,200, it's still not enough. But now let's look at um, our missions because I think we can stop some missions, maybe, not really. No, not really. We need them all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build more synthetic refineries. But it's really nothing second 68. We would need round about a thousand man. And now a thousand, eight hundred, we would need much more. At the moment the refineries are not helping us. Uh, we need more oil. We need excavation five. Or as an alternative. We go to the US and we ask them to give us some help. And this is what I'm going to do. Not the US, uh, actually I will import it from uh, Iran. 109 oil. And this is give, uh, giving us uh, definitely more fuel. 7200. Let's use three factories. Oh, much, much, much better. Okay, now we're importing the oil from Iran we will be able to perform this. Let's increase the speed. Um, why the preparation attack is not ready? I, I do not understand why. <laughs> That's why. Those guys are not in position. Man, really. Sometimes I am so angry at myself. I didn't prepare the plan, so we need to wait a little bit more. We want to have those five tanks ready to push. Um, with the infantry, of course, uh, giving support, but that's important. Improved infantry equipment, also very important. And now we go to the support companies. Recon Reconnaissance. Wonderful. The next... Step will be the Leningrad Polytechnical Institute, so the fifth, the fifth level of research. And now that we have this one, I'm going to open to the National Academy of Science, and with all this political power, I will speed up even more my research. What I'm going to do is boost also more oil from refineries, since we are building them, and. We are going to build a little bit more military factories also. Great. 
more military factories and then more civilian factories. I think we're ready. Uh, we need to have the maximum uh, battle plan here, 56% before we start. And we keep bombing. We are bombing the infrastructure and the logistic of Germany. And as you can see, those units are really suffering a lot of attrition due to our bomber bombardment. I have to check one thing here. I want to see when I will have the military blueprint. June. Okay, almost. We are almost there. I hope it will work. Wow. That's wild. That's wild. <laughs> That's really wild. Wonderful. That's wild, really. And now we have a new doctrine. Just in time, armored car organization, all infantry and motorization plus five, tanks plus one, coordination plus 10%. Just in time to prepare the attack on Minsk. Um, may I, am I able now to do the missions that I like? Operation Bagration, yes, look at this. So if I take Minsk, for 14 days, my command power will be minus 20, 50%, but if I use it, uh, the attack and breakthrough of this offensive will have a plus 10%, and I think I can do it. The Istanbul offensive not, but the Bagration oper operation, yes. I will try to unlock it, so we wait 15 days. In those 15 days, I think here the planning will be at maximum level. Also here, we have everything at 63% with the battle plan. Everything is in position. Let's, let's wait and see. And uh, I am not sure if I want to bring even more air forces here. What I think I could do is to boost a little bit more this airport because it will not take a long time. Exactly seven days. In a week, Gommel will be able to host more planes, and probably this is also what we need. Let's see. We don't have a <laughs> we don't have a lot of manpower. I should definitely introduce women or do something to have more manpower. Probably I'm gonna do it. Probably I'm going to use this uh, measure here. Wom woman in the workforce minus five stability, but. Recruitable population 3%. Let's do it because anyways, thanks to Stalin, the stability remains as it is and we boost our manpower massively. Okay, it seems that everything is ready and now I push... Uh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Push from this side. Look at this. Look at this, uh, now we have to push forward and we move from Vitebsk, we open the front line. Because I want to try to block them, doing taking Minsk and then going to the border with Vilnius and then create um, an encirclement in this area. And it might work. It might work. Exactly. Let's keep speed level 3. Of course, they have no one in Minsk, so the city of Minsk will fall, thanks to our tanks, very fast. And now... We advance once again. We have to stop. We have to stop the attempt of uh, uh, blocking us. So, so Mogilev uh, needs to fall now. We're getting. Uh, we're having issues now with the logistics, though. Mm. Well, it's a very fast operation, but we do our best. Let's see how many divisions we can block here.
Okay, stop. I think we might be able to do this. Uh, if, if this operation works, I would be very happy. National Academies of Science. Okay, this is done. No time for peace. We'll boost the nuclear technology and uh, radar station, rocket site, nuclear reactor, blah, blah, blah. I absolutely want this, but the four, five year. Ah, uh, I didn't finish the four, five years plan. We need more than 200 and, and, and we are in a war, so we cannot do that. Okay. Mm. Could increase the mobilization, or we could go through uh, this part. Uh, this one. Let's go to the positive reason. That's a good point. Okay, it seems that we won here. So we are blocking uh, now the access. Okay, we have just created, just right now, uh, an encirclement. So now we try to pass on the other side and block those uh, divisions so that they will have no uh, way to escape. And we have created an encirclement to... Okay, there are not many for... Uh, uh, four, six, ten divisions, but it's better than nothing because uh, now we are, we we have Minsk, we, we we can protect Minsk. And we get rid of, we got rid of ten divisions. And then we will try to finish this mission of taking the control of Minsk and we will move the tanks south and we'll try to do the same little trick south while our army will rest in the north and uh, slowly slowly we start our counter-offensive and i think it's a very good idea okay here we have another four divisions wait 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 wh wh what oh no man they're passing through a uh, kaunas ja seriously i didn't know this i didn't destroy any anyone they are just going back. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, fine. But let's push a little bit uh, so we can take more uh, control of more territory here. Because honestly, very honestly, it's not that difficult now to uh, to continue. It's not that difficult. Good. Probably we can push us assault. Look at this line. Why why no one is defending this line? Wow. Okay, I have an idea. Also this man that previously was defending uh Yeah. We give the order of defending our borders, otherwise you see, otherwise the Germans will uh, just uh, try to invade us south and th that's something we should not do. Great, great, great. Okay, uh, so now we have a, a big redeployment. Minsk is ours, by the way. I think that this will be enough to complete the mission. Nope. We have 11 days to take the neighboring states of Minsk, so let's do it. Also, all the neighboring ties. I hope that will be enough. It shouldn't be an issue. But we have only 11 days, so we need to be fast. We definitely need to be fast. Yeah, 
What happens if we fail? Base war support minus 10%, political power minus 75%. Wow! Wow! Oh, it's a lot. I hope I, I hope I will not lose it. Come on, guys, push. Come on, guys, push. <laughs> Come on, guys, push. We need to take the full control of, of Minsk. Are you kidding me? But come on, uh, now Minsk is in my hands. Six days to go. Come on! So the state of, of Minsk is all in our, under our control. Just this one is bordering and here. So when they say also the neighboring regions, maybe they, they mean really those uh, tiles. But... I didn't know this. Cool. If I lose the mission because I didn't know it, I feel really, really stupid. But I think there is not so much I can do in three days. Except for trying to take Baranovice. Ah, oh, man. Minsk and all neighboring states. Yeah, I don't have all the neighboring states of Minsk because it would be a, such a big, big, big region. Let's wait till this is minus 75 and we lose war support. Man, really. So bad. Probably should have given the order of uh, assault order. Zero days. We're failing. We are failing. Failed. Very bad. Very, very bad, but what can I do? Okay, Vatutin is not assigned to any sort of order, and why? God knows. Let's micromanage them. A little bit. Okay. It seems that it's now time to move our tanks, leave the north, move our tanks here in the south where... Actually, if we take Kiev, then we can try to do some other encirclements in this area. Let's move the tanks here, and that's gonna be my next step. That's gonna be my next step uh, to in order. So now we talk Minsk. The next one is Kiev. I hope that I could uh, encircle some units and uh, destroy them. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but fine. Um, we are still in B uh, Belarus here. Yeah, so that's the place we have to uh, we have to eat. That's the place we have to eat. Ooh, look at this JUIC artillery that we I think we just stole from the Germans. Yeah, probably yes. Probably yes. I think we stole a lot of technology to the Germans and now we have 300% uh, bonus in the research of artillery. Great. Great, great, great. Okay, let's wait until the tanks are in positions position and then we try to get back Kiev and if we get back Kiev then we can try to take the control on this side of the Switzerland joined the allies really but then I mean then I was not drunk when I told you that it can happen but it makes literally no sense we have historical anyways so this is the idea and here that should be an encirclement but let me see if I manage We move now. We move now. Four tanks. Now we start pushing also with the infantry. Just in case. Oh, look. They're bringing, they're bringing support. 
And what we do? We block the support and we try to cut uh, the enemy lines on this other side because actually it might be even easier than I thought. Maybe. Oh, those are a lot of divisions. Now we take Kiev and this tile. Amazing. So here. Not really. Now Liberia and Switzerland. The magic team. Let's try to see if we can crush seven divisions. Okay, we are getting close to them. We're getting close to them. So, let's stop the attack of Kiev. Let's move our tanks in the middle of this corridor. Let's take this airport and probably push and cut all those divisions out. What do we do? Sophia Offensive, no thanks. Um, I would like to develop the National Academy of Science so we will have a extra research uh, slots fine oh look at this your tanks thank you by the way let's look at the we need a lot of trucks we need a lot of trucks so probably i'm not i'm not producing them at all let's increase the fighters let's keep uh, five uh, in the truck production and then let's see and now, soon we will be able to push also in this direction. Once again. But it worked. It worked. It worked. Okay, we have encircled not many um, units, but some units. So now we can move forward. We can move forward and we can delete this line. Uh, this fantastic. Why do I have Soviet Union here? <laughs> For some reason, I had still some free... I don't know what happened here, but but that's good. I don't know what happened, but it's good. No, I think that Romania freed, uh, freed up somehow. I don't know how. So now we are just fixing, 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 which is okay because uh, we, are, we are conquering a lot of new mm, land and we have to fix the logistic before we uh, push forward. Actually, we will have to probably build also more infrastructure. Um, we destroyed those units and then we reposition. And then we move the tanks a little bit south because I want to do the same little trick in Depot Petrovsk. Great thing, and now the first encirclement is finally done. Cancel all orders. Let's go here. Uh, new anti air, I don't care. Let's start with the results of the nuclear power. It's August 43. It could be useful in the future, you know. Well, 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 I have the feeling that if I can uh, cross the river, so now with some uh, focused operations, if I can cross the river everywhere, then I can really give the um, order, the offensive order, of, yeah, offensive order, um, and ask my troops to march towards Berlin, because... If I do it now, I have the feeling that I, I will not be able to... Come on. Hmm. I think I will not be able to, to cross the river because the Germans are bad but not that bad. Let's see. Okay, let's wait for these guys to be in position. Uh, 
Okay, I could give them the focus to um, uh, repair. Are they all there? Okay, I give them the, I give them the railway movement, so it will be faster, and then they will have to reorganize. But it's okay. Where are those airplanes that I was using to? Really? Oh man, the tactical bombers, poor. They're in Dnipropetrovsk, for real. Okay, go here. No, then they stay in Dnipropetrovsk, whatever. I think they know better. Yeah, I need I need to use the industry to to fix the to fix my logistic. For example here, look at this, look at this, uh, Germany created a level 5 here, impressive. Pity that Minsk is linked to Moscow with a level uh, 2 and here there is a bottleneck. So we transform this in a 4, this in a 4 and this also in 4. Um, if this is very important. Heroes forward, division recovery rate plus 7%, wonderful, wonderful. And let's give now some boost. So our plan will will be faster. Stakhanov, let's do it. Let's revive the Stakhanovit movement. And by the way, now we have 39% and construction 5. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's do it. September of the 43. Italy is completely, has completely collapsed. There is no one in France. Wow. Yeah, it's time. It's time to go. I don't understand why those tanks take so much time to move from a type to the other. Uh, they just have to redeploy and prepare for this operation in Cherkashi, but whatever. Those can go. Those can also go. But they need the support of the infantry. Otherwise, they will never be able to push. Actually, wow, they're doing quite well. <laughs> they are doing quite well. We are on the other side of the river. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We have to take Rivoyri. We will, we will go from. Uh, we will try to take Mikola if this will be the, the encirclement that we do. Okay, good with night vision. This is too much. Um, wonderful. Wonderful, really. Ah, this this means yes. There is the D day. Okay, we are, we can start, guys. We can start our. We can start. We can give the order. I will do this encirclement, and then I will give the order. We will start um, moving towards Berlin. Great. Here we will stop around about 10 divisions. So now I think we can push us from south because we don't have a lot of resistance. Absolutely not. So 
It's quite simple to be honest. Ireland joined the allies, okay. And that's it. We have another pocket. <laughs> we have another pocket, okay. Wonderful. We have another pocket here. Okay, one thing that I, I can do and I must do uh, is uh, a better... I need more trucks. Is a better, 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 better... Where is it? Fighter 3. Fighter 3A. Okay, let's do this. And also the, the CAS. Closer support. I mean... Good. Nipopetrovsk will be the last city here. And and then we give the order. Let's move. Let's move. Let's push and move and destroy them all. And then when all our divisions are in position, easy peasy. Okay, closer support. We have the level 3 also here. Reliability attack engine range. And we have the Yield 10 A. Here we go. Great. Great, great, great. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let's wait till our troops are in position. I'm not going to... To do anything else. Those tanks are joining the army of Rosokovsky, because I think now it's time. And once this is done, we give the order and we start mar marching towards towards a force, a force, uh, first Warsaw and then Berlin. Look at this, Vichy France is trying to attack here. Ah, man. Okay. Let's just say that their defense that they have to provide is this one now. Not because uh, Vichy France is attacking us in Syria, but um, I think I think they will not last long time. But let's see. Now we give a battle plan. Very aggressive. Also, you're very aggressive. Let me see if I can boost some bonuses. Not really, because Istanbul is something that I don't want to, uh, to use now. I don't want to attack to Istanbul because I would need... Uh, I don't want to do it now. Let's wait until everybody is, is in position. Okay, those are in position. Those are almost there. Let's speed up. Attacking in November is not the smartest choice that we can do, but fine. Now, ah oh man, I could have changed my uh, doctrines. Let me see. Most of them are done. Most of them are good. Also, the tanks now are uh, preparing their... Yeah, that's great. That's great. That's great. I would just want to see the logistics. The logistic also looks good. We have our infrastructure level 4. To be honest, uh, I think it's also possible, and I can do it, to transform this now to a level 5. So we will... We will uh, uh, reach the. Let's start with this one. We will reach our lines faster and better. And here we go. 
here we go 28th of october 43 we give the command we start our offensive um and i think that germany will not stand a chance they will not stand a chance because they are busy in italy and in france we have been waiting very very patiently and now we push back with all our strength with all our organization with all our preparation and we have 11 days of joy. <laughs> we consume 13,000. And we have 7. Okay. Let me go very, very quick to Iran, my dear friends. And we ask them to use a little bit more oil. So now we have a 10,400 gain. Um. Can I use this propaganda thing of the more oil for the motherland? Seems like... Where is it? Where is it? Ah, it seems that I have used too much of it. Because I don't have it anymore. I have more metal. Division attack on core plus 10%, not bad. Is this core territory? Uh, or not really. We don't need any manpower. Man, let's boost the sibling of the little army, but... Wow. Uh, that means that I need to go... And trade also with the US, probably. And try to get now 15,000 daily and consumption 13,000. Okay, uh, with this import program, we will fill up our stockpile and uh, we have enough oil for this offensive. But that's, that's amazing to see. That's amazing to see. What I have to uh, take care of is that our airplanes are always following the troops so we can provide um, support and not uh, just forget them somewhere you know otherwise if we forget the, the air forces then of course we, we have an issue but look at this look at this in a few days <laughs> they do not exist anymore in a few days, they do not exist anymore. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video and see you next time. And please don't forget the thumbs up.